she did not let me go in the house or nothing like that, bro. Nothing. Like, that's my girlfriend. I've been over there multiple times. So she this is Keyshawn Roll, a 19-year-old man whose frantic 911 call would soon unravel a chilling mystery. His voice trembles as he tells dispatchers he's at his girlfriend Leia's apartment and she's just been shot brutally. The cops, sensing the urgency in his panicked rant, rush to the scene. You hear any gunshots? Over here, over here. Over here? Hey, here. Players! Stand over there. Stand over there. When officers arrive, they're greeted by chaos inside. The body of 19-year-old Leia lies motionless on the floor, a gunshot wound to the head and her blood soaking the carpet. Keyshawn stands over her, pacing, hands shaking, and starts rambling incoherently. But the cops, they're smart. They let him talk. I just brought a granny and everything. I never, 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 but listen, look, listen, she told me to go, I was, listen, so I came over here, right, I'm literally, she, listen, she only let me stand right here, mind you, okay, listen, did you listen to me? Yeah, I was listening to me, listen, she only let me stand right here, look, I'm finna show you, uh -huh. she only let me stand right here, bro, listen, she was like, I'm finna, she, I said, I said, I asked her, can I come over, she said, you can come over for a little bit, I said, okay, she asked her, but, uh, but when I got over here, she was like, no, you can't come in, you always something like that because she want to get ready to go to sleep, I'm like, okay, you want to get ready to go to sleep, so I'm finna go, I literally came down here to my home. No pulse on her? No. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I am. Starting CPR. Listen, I swear to God, everything I love. You're good, buddy. Huh? You're good, buddy. Okay, look, I swear to God, everything I love. Look, I came to my car. The moment I opened my car door, I heard eight shots come from my apartment. I literally, bro, I'm thinking somebody f***ing shooting, I would say shooting else somewhere, so I pull up the street, I'm like, damn, what the f***? But I turn around, because I'm like, dog, bro, that's my girl, but I really love this girl to death. So I'm like, okay, so I turn around, but listen, I'm being on the f***ing door to try to get the f*** back in the apartment, because I don't have the key or nothing, bro. I need a cage card for him. I literally just started CPR and shot to the head. I'm not conscious, not breathing. Yeah, there's gray matter. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. So listen, she told me the moment I get by her car, I, I listen, the moment I get by, I get by my car, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, I got eight shots, bro. I run upstairs, bro, but I'm, I listen, but her door's unlocked because she just caught the door behind me, bro. I made sure she was okay because I told her, I'm, uh, when I was here, I said, okay, I'm going to call you later and like that because I know you got work tonight. She work at Walmart on uh, East Capitol, okay. okay? So listen, when I got to my car, I swear to God, I heard eight shots. I go up there, but I look. All I do is open the door, bro. She's laying on the f***ing ground, bro. Let's sort it out, buddy. We just got here, and this guy uh, is the one that called. Uh, I have no idea, to be honest. No, I have none. I, we just got up here. So, right, I mean, you guys came here quicker than you know. Hey, there is a bullet next to it on the left side, so be careful where it is. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to get in your way here, man. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah. But right now, she's obviously shot. You're the, first, you're the only person in the apartment, so you're just detained right now, okay? No, 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 you're right. No, like I said, you're not arrested, but you're just detained until we figure out what's going on. As Keyshawn's words tumble out fast and messy, the officers don't interrupt. They listen to every detail carefully. They let Keyshawn go on a talking spree without any major interruption, and after he was done, they asked him to repeat everything again about what happened step by step. But this time, Keyshawn's story shifts. New details emerged, with small contradictions here and there that raise eyebrows. Listen, so me and I, listen, she had, she just had got home about like 45 minutes ago, hour ago. She, I called her, she, I said, can I come see you? She asked, at first she asked, said no, I said, okay. She asked, I said, can I come see you? She said, yeah, you can come see me, but only for a little bit because I have to go to work tonight because I work, she work at Walmart East Capital. I normally take her to work between 9.30 and 9.40. I said, okay, when I got over there, when I got over here, she only let me stand in the door. She didn't allow let me go in the house or nothing like that, bro. Nothing. 
Like, that's my girlfriend. I've been over there multiple times. So but she didn't let me go over there. So she had said, okay, you have to leave because I'm finna get ready to go to sleep. I said, okay. I literally walked down the stairs. I came out the door. She closed the door behind me. I told her. I said, okay, I'm gonna call you later and make sure that you good and that you okay because I know you got work. And I told her to call me if you need a ride to work. Okay, this is what I do on the date. So, I said, okay. I got literally got to my car door. I literally go to open my car door and I hear eight shots coming out of her apartment. Not her apartment, but the fucking house complex. You know what I'm saying? So then I literally, I'm getting scared. Like, I'm, all I'm hearing is shots. Huh? Which car is yours? Red right, flat tractor right there. Right here? Mm hmm. It's parked the wrong way? Yeah, it's parked the wrong way. Okay. Wait, where's. Yup. Oh, there you are. Okay. I'm trying to look for the gun. Hey, oh, sorry. Sorry, you're good. You're good. I'm just trying to make sure there's no gun in here. 7250, they're calling it DOE. What, uh, what happened after that? What'd you do? Because, listen, I got up in the car, but I pulled up, I'm like, what the f they shooting? But, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to get shot. See, you know what I'm saying, I'm an innocent bystander. then. Okay. Or whatever, I don't want him to come outside or whatever the f may be and shoot me. Okay. So I'm like, okay, bet. So, I literally, but I turn around and like that. I literally turn around. I get all, I pull the f back up, I'm banging on the f***ing door to get back up in there because I don't have the keys to our apartment. I cannot get in that complex. What? Well, story what's going on right yeah. now, man. We'll come talk to you in a second. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I swear to God on everything I love. So you went back in? No, I, listen, listen, I went back in after the shots. Okay. I yeah. went back in after okay. the shots because I got I knocked on the fucking oh. door and the neighbor oh. opened the door for me. Okay. Okay. And you went back And I went back upstairs. What's your door open? Your door was already unlocked. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, the door is already unlocked. I'm literally, bro, I'm, I'm literally trying to say, I'm back, I'm back, what's wrong, I'm back, what's wrong? All I see is, bro, I'm like, what's going on, what's going on? Yeah, no, it's in my car. Okay. What's your name? Keyshawn, K-E-S-H-A-W-N. Does that look like a bullet hole in the water right in front of you? Right there? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, that's what that is. It looks like you got some brain matter over here. Yeah, if you went through here. There's some brain matters on her lap, look. Is that one right there? Or not? That's probably. Looks like she might have been shot twice. Unless she held up her arm in front of her. Ah, uh, here's the exit wound. Okay. Ray Manor. Five wounds total, one, two. One in the other arm. And then the two in the head. And look at, there's stuff all over here. Or up here. Did you look through the window? Bro, I'm trying to figure out this. Like, the first thing I do is I call, I call her friend. I'm like, bro, you know, I said, I don't know what the fuck just happened. She said, what? I said, bro, I don't know what just happened. But I just heard eight shots go from my apartment. She said, wait, 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 wait. She said, wait, 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 what's going on, bro? I said, bro, I just heard eight shots come out of her apartment, bro. She said, wait, wait, wait. I called her granny, bro. I told her granny, I heard eight shots come out of her apartment. She her granny, her granny, like, what you mean, bro? Eight shots come out of her apartment. I said, bro, I'm literally in the fucking house right now, bro. Rousey, R O W S E Y. Just a question I'm going to ask you, anyone, something I've worried about? No, we're home. Not a probation for No, we're okay. home. Okay, all right. Got it real quick. Which, the one over here to get you cool. Thomas, you said? Or Davis? I mean? Davis, D-A-I-S. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, don't, I don't know her middle name. Okay. She lives here? Yes. Okay. Alright, fine. So I used to stay. Well, can, can you crack it though? Can you keep it yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get the keys so I can get the haircut. Okay, I'm not going to do nothing, bro. Can you just, I'm off call operating, can you just leave it open so I can yeah. literally just sit here and breathe? Is squad number on this? Listen, I swear to God, Jasmine! Jasmine! Oh, everything I love, bro, listen! She said I could come over for a little bit. I came over here for literally five so she didn't let me in the door, bro. She didn't let me in the door. I literally lived him. When she told me to leave, I left. I literally got by my car door and I heard some shots coming from my apartment, bro. Keyshawn, just relax. When I get the key, I'll turn the air conditioning stuff to do a job. Listen, I just want to breathe, bro. That's it. I'll leave the door. I just want to breathe, bro. I got you. Then I bloody keep asking me, did you do it? No, I didn't do that shit. I love that girl. And they found five total bullet holsters. There's gray matter on her pants, on the window, on the window seal. There is a bullet fragment on her left side, her right side over here. And then there's, uh, there's, look like a strike mark in the corner. You can see it from here so far. And then once they move out of the way, I'll be able to keep looking. Seven. 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 Yep, seven holes. Chest, one on the right arm, two in the head, two in the back. Hey, I heard phone's ringing. Is that anything to you? Uh, yeah, just leave it. Is that how I play register you, man? Yeah, that's how that's my part. Hey, did somebody come out of that place? No, I didn't know, but I left. I pulled it off, bro. I pulled it off. Okay. I got scared because it was shot. I pulled it off. I came back. So when you came out, when you came out of here, you didn't see anybody go in? No, I didn't. But listen, she was already at home when I got here. I know, but you said you left because she didn't want to. Yeah, but she didn't let me in the door. I don't know if somebody was in there or not. Okay, all right. She didn't let me in the house, sir. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay.
What are you talking about? You called me, said that shot apartment. No, I did. I said I heard eight. I said I heard eight shots from out of her apartment. Now, man. I heard eight shots from in there. I heard bang, 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 bang. Come on, cooperate with me. Oh, yeah, cooperate, bro. I know you're answering up, right? But you all never. Yes, I know the whole neighborhood ain't gonna know my business, bro. But I'm just saying, bro. I'm trying to tell because everybody trying to look at me like I did. Oh, I told you, look, I told you straight up, you're not arrested, you're detained right now, Okay, right? and I understand that. We get called here, someone shot, right? Yes, and I called oh, you all. Hold on, hold on. Breathe, buddy. You keep yelling over me, because I'm on your side, all right? I told you straight up, you're not arrested, you're detained. I just obviously got to figure out what's going on. Okay. You're in the apartment, she's shot. I'm sorting out everything. You're not arrested. Your story checks out. Just let everything hap uh, happen for a second, all right? Detectives are going to come, everything to talk to you. Things will be cool, all right? I'm okay, bro. Just be smooth with me. Bro. Okay. Any casings or anything? There's a bullet fragment over next to her. I saw that. Yeah, there's a there's a strike there's a strike to the wall. You see it right here? Oh yeah. Right there, and then it hits there. But there's brain matter on the window over here, right over here, and it's in her lap. And she was up in the corner. So I'm curious. I don't think this happened here. I think. You don't think it happened here? Well, it was not. Oh, she got shot five cool. times. She got shot five times. There's seven total holes. Yeah. yeah he said, uh, he heard eight gunshots. Yeah, there's no one else in here. This was a lot. Oh, right. hey, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, but I'm not, but can I just breathe? I'm breathing. No, but you're trying to talk to them. No, I'm not, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just letting you know. I got alibis, bro. Wait, then I just with I you, bro. I've been with you all day, bro. I just dropped you off over your 80 time, and I mean, over there by the court, bro, so you can play with tricks on him. I was just was with you, bro. Oh, this will be your last one. I'm going to have to close the door, bro. Okay. Anything on the home? There's no case. There's nothing else in there. He had three cars, and he's one of them. At this point, the inconsistencies in Keyshawn's story are becoming more apparent, and the officers are growing increasingly suspicious. What they're seeing at the scene just doesn't match up with what Keyshawn is telling them and trying hard to explain. His story seems disjointed and contradictory, raising concerns about the accuracy of his version of events. One of the officers later recounts the situation to an investigator, sharing his doubts and observations. As they turn back to Keyshawn, they ask him to repeat his version of the story again. Once again, his story changes and crucial details are left out, further deepening the officer's suspicions. Listen, listen, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to y'all ask me how I got in the apartment and everything. When I first got here, mm -hmm. her neighbor was opening the door. Mm -hmm. I came in the door. Mm -hmm. I knocked on her door. She opened it. She would not let me in, sir. She told you to come over though, right? Yeah, she said I can okay. come over while we was on the phone. Me and her literally had a conversation. We literally was on the phone. Mm -hmm. so that's your girlfriend? That was my ex-girlfriend, but we getting back together. Okay. Yeah, we was getting back together. How long were you guys? together on all we were well, listen we've been together for a year and a half we just we just broke up like three weeks ago but me and her been talking about getting back together and like that and she said we getting back together she just needed time to you know what i'm saying get through her feelings and stuff like that right i'm like okay you know what i'm saying i'm literally sitting here being you know what i'm saying i'm literally sitting here being okay with all that shit because i understand you know what I'm saying? Everybody got feelings, bro. I knocked on her door again. I'm like, Leah, 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 Leah. I check the door to see if it's unlocked. The door's unlocked. I open the door. All I see in her is on the floor dead. I literally drop down to my knees, bro. Mm -hmm. The first person I call is her motherfucking friend. I call her right there. Mm -hmm. I call her friend. I tell her. I'm like, bro, I just heard eight shots come out her apartment complex. I'm crying like a motherfucker, bro. Bro, she's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She just left me and shit like that, bro. I said, fam, I just heard eight shots come out her apartment complex. So then she asked, said, hold on, I'm going to call you back. I called her granny. Her granny said, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? I'm telling her granny, bro, like, I, bro, I just heard eight shots come out your granddaddy complex, your granddaughter complex and shit like that. I'm literally doing all that shit, right? All I know is, bro, all I know is, bro, I literally, bro, I swear to God on my soul. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? She asked me, did I do it? I said, I did not do it. I said, I didn't do it. I said, I don't know, bro. I said, she didn't let me in the house. Did you see somebody run out? I didn't, I was, go, I sped down the street. Car. I sped down the street, bro. I didn't see nobody run in and out. When you heard the shots fired out here, you didn't see anybody run out the apartment? No, I didn't. I drove off. Do you think someone was in there? Bro, I don't know. She didn't let me through the door. Okay. All right, man. He was in the apartment when we got here. He was in the apartment? Yeah. Yes, I can't. Listen, I had the door. I had the door. Put, I had yeah. the door. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to play. I know you gave I got story, the black but thing, but I got the black thing held open so I can get back into the uh, house because I don't have a key to get back in. I hear you, buddy. Let's take a seat. You guys got the keys for 541? Yeah, that's so my guys, car. Yeah, what do you mean? The guy, the, probably the possible suspect is sitting in the back of it. It's not running. And he's yelling because he's hot. So I want to get the AC on there so I can shut the door on him. Leia's grandmother is already at the scene, 
and an officer has just been informed of her arrival. The officer prepares to meet with her to gather any information she might have. It's worth noting that Lee's mother passed away in 2017, meaning the grandmother has now endured the tragic loss of both her daughter and granddaughter. This adds a somber weight to the situation, heightening the urgency and emotional complexity the officer will have to navigate during their conversation. Okay, well, I can't really say anything because I don't know anything other than there's somebody that's shot. Can't release any information right now. If, that, if that's her grandma, is her mom around? Okay, we'll have her sit there. I'll come talk to her in a minute, okay? Do we have an officer available? Uh, the grandmother is down on the east end of Lisbon. Probably be the next of him. He's talking very fast, like he's nervous. Extremely fast. That's, uh, the story doesn't make a lot of sense. It's kind of a clue. Is there a gun up there? There's no gun, there's no casings. And get this guy, this fucking guy right here. At this point, the officers are already leaning toward the possibility that Keyshawn might be the culprit of the crime. You can hear one officer talk how nervous and extremely fast-talking Keyshawn is and how his story doesn't make any sense. As they speak with nearby residents, one neighbor recounts how Keyshawn came to her door, knocking frantically, and asked if she had heard anything unusual. This behavior raises even more questions in the officers' minds, leaving them to wonder if Keyshawn is trying to manipulate the narrative or cover his tracks. He's on the wrong side of the tape. Yeah, the same side for now. Okay. Okay. Did you see, hear anything? You're right next door. I'll tell you what, I'll let a detective know to come over and talk to you in private. Uh, we heard about bam bam. I didn't think it was a gunshot, but I just thought it was bam on the door some more. Like I thought he kicked it out instead of. He oh, moved, then he ran off. Yeah. Could you make out what he was saying? He was like saying, let me in. She was saying, go or leave or something. Okay. Just like that. I was just moving like three months ago. Okay. And they argued all the time. Ten minutes later, he come, the car pulls back up. But he had someone with him, a female. I hear a female voice. And they're both like, she dead. So I'm like, oh no, he killed her. And then he knocked on my door. And I was like, all I saw was a black charger. And he said, that's my car. He was like, I came and she wouldn't let me in. She told me to leave. I left. He was like, so, he, he said, so I thought somebody in here did it. I said, no, you didn't think nobody in here did it. So that's why I called the police. Okay. Because I, I see he's trying to flip it. I just closed my door. Did you, had you called the police prior to him knocking on your door? Yeah. Okay, you Yeah, but I'm just saying. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Are you serious? Okay, heck yeah, bro. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Bro, I'm right. I didn't do that shit, my nigga. Okay, nobody's. Relax. Okay. Y'all finna have me sitting in the cell and shit, bro? No. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. They know. We're gonna talk to you about what, what, okay, you, saw, what you saw. Okay, okay? bro. Okay. As the investigation unfolds, investigators uncover new details surrounding the sequence of 911 calls tied to the case. Allegedly, before Keyshawn called 911 himself, he first phoned a friend, telling him that Leia had been shot in her apartment. Keyshawn mentioned this call to officers at the scene, but what he conveniently left out was a critical piece of information. According to the friend, Keyshawn admitted during their conversation that he was the one who shot Leia. This shocking confession prompted the friend to make the first initial 911 call, setting the entire investigation in motion. The revelation casts a dark shadow over Keyshawn's version of events and further solidifies the officer's suspicions that he may indeed be responsible for Leia's death. And the maximum penalty is life imprisonment plus five years. Do you understand the penalty, sir? Yes, but I... Commissioner Grace Flynn interrupted Keyshawn Rousey as he tried to talk during his initial appearance Wednesday. The 20-year-old is charged with first-degree intentional homicide, accused of shooting and killing his 19-year-old ex-girlfriend, Leah Davis, at her apartment on Saturday near 66th and Lisbon. Prosecutors say Rousey called a friend of Davis, claiming someone shot up the apartment. A friend of Rousey's told investigators he called them, admitting to shooting Davis. Neighbors told investigators they heard Rousey knocking on Davis's door for some time. The door opens and then gunshots. 
A friend of Davis told police she and Rousey broke up three weeks before she was killed and that Rousey wasn't taking it well. He was possessive, that he had threatened to kill Davis last fall, said to have purchased a gun to do so, and threatened to kill himself when Davis wanted to break up with him. After Keyshawn's arrest, he was charged with first-degree murder while using a dangerous weapon. He later entered a plea of not guilty, and his bail was set at $250,000, an amount he never posted, thereby remaining in custody throughout the proceedings. Eight months after Leia's death, a jury unanimously found Keyshawn guilty at trial. He was sentenced to life in prison, with eligibility for parole in 2057, when he will be 55 years old.